Something's just arrived. I wonder what this could be. Let's have a little looky see at what we've got here. Oh, yep. I'm afraid it's a new battery. But this one is a US 5000. This is the big daddy of Pylon Tech batteries. So let's get the box open and have a look what we've got. the usual uh, mounting nuts, instruction manual, a couple of cables for mounting it to the next battery in the chain, and a very, very thick earth cable. and a communications wire, again for connecting it to the next battery in the chain. Now one thing about this one compared to the others is it's extremely heavy. So in essence, it looks very similar to the 2000, but it is effectively two of the 2000 units together in one box. So I need to get this one into service with my others, but first I need to make space for it. Um, it's getting quite tight in the cupboard. And this is probably the last one I'll be able to fit in there, so uh, I need to disconnect all my current batteries uh, and move them around so that I can get this one at the bottom. I've uh, taken it out of the plastic bag. Let's have a close-up look at the US 5000 by Pylon Tech. So you can see we've got the normal earth connection point on-off switch the start up switch, the level indicator lights, these are all the same as that are on the um, US 2000 and US 3000. The ADD switches which you don't really need to fiddle with unless you've got multiple banks. Communication ports and positive and negative terminals. So in every way it's pretty much similar to the other rack mount versions they do, it's just a lot bigger and a lot heavier. So this one is going to go at the bottom of my stack because it's so heavy and then I'll put the smaller units uh, on top of this one. 
So before we go any further, let's just have a look at the specifications for the US 5000. So it has a nominal voltage of 48 volts, the same as the 2000. It has a nominal capacity of 4800 watt hours, which is double the US 2000. It has a usable capacity of 4560 watt hours which means it has a depth of discharge of 95%. This is a little bit better than the US 2000, which is only 90%. Uh, you can see the dimensions there. Obviously, it's uh, about the same width and uh, depth, but uh, it's a bit taller. Uh, and it's certainly a lot heavier, yes, 40 kilograms in weight. And you can certainly uh, notice it when you try and pick it up. It is heavy. Maximum current, uh, 100 amps, which is what you'd expect. It's uh, twice the twice the capacity of the US 2000, so it should be, you know, sort of double the current draw. Uh, design life, it seems to have a longer design life, 15 plus years, as opposed to 10 years for the 2000. Although it still has the same cycle life of greater than 6,000 cycles, so uh, I'm not sure quite where they arrive at that figure from, but anyway. Uh, it's got exactly the same working temperature, uh, 0 to 50 Celsius for charging and minus 10 to 50 Celsius for discharging. Uh, and another plus point is you can have 16 of these in a stack, um, whereas you can only have 8 uh, in a stack for the US 2000. Um, and as each one of these is, is twice the capacity of the US 2000, that means overall you'll have uh, four times the capacity in the bank as you would if you made it up of the uh, US 2000. I should also point out that the US 5000 is compatible with all other Pylon Tech US series batteries. The only stipulation is that the uh, US 5000 would have to be the master in the bank. So the first thing I need to do is just check that A, it works, and B, what voltage it's at. So we'll put it on DC, we want that one. So we've got zero at the moment, but that's because it's not on. So let's turn it on. So now let's have a look. We've got 49.4 volts. So that's good, about what I'd expect. Okay, so I've been uh, using the oven and charging the car and using the washing machine to try and discharge my house batteries down to about the same level. So what I'm looking for is about 49.4. Um, so let's just have a look and see what it is. And it says... To connect. Look at that, 49.3, so bang on. So uh, it's ready for me to take these apart, um, move them out of the way, put the new one at the bottom, and uh, and then restack it all up. Okay, so I've managed to uh, clear them all out of the way, so now I can put the big one here at the bottom. Now I've also had to trim a little bit more of the uh, plasterboard off the underside of the staircase so that it will fit into this gap just. Okay, that's it. So it's all up and running now. And um, the reason I've put this one uh, sideways on its side is A, so I can fit it in, but also 
this battery is my oldest one and is starting to have a few issues so it might need to be removed eventually but that's it it's all there so I've got now effectively 19 kilowatt hours of storage in here in the house and another 10 kilowatt hours of storage uh, of my homemade batteries out in the power shed so that gives me a total of 29 kilowatt hours which should be more than enough to keep me going uh, through uh, even the most power hungry of nights so that's it the US 5000 series battery from Pylon Tech it's a big heavy battery is it worth getting one of these rather than two of the 2000 series I think for most home users probably not. There's no advantage in price, two 2000 series cost about the same and they're a lot lighter, a lot easier to handle. So the only real advantage I can see to having a US 5000 series is the fact that you can stack 16 of these together in a group. If you wanted to build a really big home storage battery that's the way to go. It would give you a total of about 77 kilowatt hours of storage which is enormous not sure why anyone would need that much but if you do that's the battery for you but anyway I hope you enjoyed this video I uh, hope you found it useful please do like comment share subscribe uh, check out the other videos on my channel and I will see you all on the next video cheers